there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and you're probably wondering why it is so dark. Well, the answer to that question is that, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Skylanders that should have been light core. And so basically what I do is, I take this little pin flashlight, and I shine them on a Skylander, and it can cast the light through it. So, um, first, I'm going to get started. Uh, with some of the ones that I may or may not have done the in the last the last time I did one of these videos, and that is with Dragon's Peak. Um, and so this this uh, figure should have been light core. The pool should have glowed or something like that. Um, now some of these the light works better with than the others, but you can kind of imagine what it would look like if the pool in the center of Dragon's Peak was light core. So the other one I can't remember if I've done before in the other video was Night Shift. Night Shift would have been really cool if he had lit up. And so right now the light is at the very back of his figure and it's illuminating his entire little mass down there as well as his arms could have been light core too and they should have been light core. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Another one I'm not sure if I did was Warnado. And I know he's light core, but I honestly think it should have been his tornado that lit up because that would have been a lot cooler. So, as you can see, flashlight in the back. His whole tornado just lights up with ease. Interestingly enough, his original character design has a shell that does not allow light to come through it. So, that's kind of interesting. Well, if I shine the light on the other Mornado shell, the light will actually go down through it. Um, the opposite way light usually goes. Um, here's another one. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't do this in the last one. Um, the whole thing could have been a very amazing light core if the portal part had uh, glowed green. Would have been really cool. Um, let's see. Next one up, Smolder Dash. And I know that she's light core, but she could have been much, much better in terms of light coreness. So the interesting thing about this one is that if you actually shine um, a light in the back of her head, she actually does light up like regular um, light core Smolder Dash. But I think that this one would have actually been a much cooler pose to make a light core as that could have lit up. And her entire flame whip could have lit up, too. It's really pretty cool if you like that sort of thing. Um, so another character that should have been light core is Eruptor. And again, I know that he's light core, but this would have been a really cool pose to have made light core. So I have the flashlight kind of coming in behind, and it's making his entire lava bar stream light up and I honestly think that's really cool and I'll do it from the base too it's really cool it probably would have looked a lot like the fiery forges um, light core um, next up trap shadow and I think his eyes should have um should have uh, lit up and I think they glow in the dark they might not oh maybe they don't I thought they did um anyways his trap could have lit up and I think that would have been really cool um, as well as his eyes because he's a cat um, so I have two more to show, actually I have three more to show, and next up, Punk Shock. I don't think this pose should have been light core, but I honestly think she would be a really cool light core in general. If you shine the light on the top of the crossbow, the whole thing lights up and it's pretty cool. Um, so I think she should have been light core, and I hope that she's light core in the next game, and it's like casting out her pool of electric wetness, and um, it lights up. I think that would be really cool. Um, next up, Freeze Blade. Freeze Blade would have been really cool if he was light core. His entire hair can light up like this. It would have been really awesome. Um, same thing with his arms. Uh, that would have been really cool. And his chakram. I'll spin it around so you can actually see it. But yeah, it would have been really cool. And finally, actually not finally, I do have one more after this to show you. Um, Doomstone. Doomstone would have been really cool. Look at this. If I shine the light up through the bottom of his club, the whole thing lights up. And that is really awesome. Um, all the jade on him could have glown. And actually, if you put the light up to his belt, the whole belt glows. And it's really cool. As well as his shield, actually. The whole 
jade, jaded part of his actually glows if you just stick the flashlight on part of the jade. Last one, Phantom Cinder. You were probably all expecting this one. Phantom Cinder definitely should have been like Core, and I'm very ashamed that she's not. It's very, it's, it's sad. Um, because this would have been the most amazing light core you've ever seen. Her entire body glows purple when you just shine the light. Basically anywhere, her entire body glows purple. Except for her wings, there's not enough material to carry the light. But anyways, it is just so awesome. And I know that this might sort of be kind of hard to, um, imagine, but I turn the lights off so you can at least kind of get an idea. You can see that it's so well, it's not even blocking the light because my fingers have purple light on them. Um, but anyways, I do believe that these Skylanders should have been light core, and I honestly hope the Activision ups their game in Skylanders Trap Team. So anyways, this has been Portal Master 9351 Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, everybody. Goodbye!